Now, I've met a lot of comedians who would be quite content if they could create just one new comedy character in their lifetimes. But in his long and successful career, my first guest tonight has created literally dozens of them. And luckily for us, he's still creating them. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Emery. <laughs> Lovely to have you on the show. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. That's right, yeah. <laughs> that's your bobber boy voice. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Actually, actually, I've got a job on the production line at Ford's. What's the bobber boy doing on the production line at Ford's? Putting the boot in. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, isn't it? <laughs> But you've got some other characters as well, you know. Oh, yes, the yes. Vicar. Oh, the vicar. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, he's, uh, the vicar is sort of uh, like all the vicars I've ever met in my life, you know. Ever so keen, ever so do-goody. <laughs> Actually, to me, he's uh, just an intellectual twit. <laughs> Can you give us a bit now? I will, as a good book says, give you a bit. <laughs> but I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we have ever seen you in our church, have we? Uh, well, I don't think you have, actually. No. Which church is it? The Church of St. Beryl's mm -hmm. in Peckham High Street, mm -hmm. alongside the quick, clean laundrette, because, as everyone who knows... Cleanliness is next to godliness. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder mm -hmm. if I might make an announcement on behalf of the Young Mothers I'll Club. Be my guest. Very well. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> The Church of St. Beryl's Young Mothers Club is now meeting in the Nissen Hut, in the Nissen Hut at the back of the jam factory, every Thursday night, and we're desperately in need of new members. <laughs> so if any lady wishes to become a young mother, <laughs> would she please see me afterwards? <laughs> if you're quick, you can catch me by the cloisters. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old boy that you do, you know. Oh, Lampwick? Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody seems to like Lampwick. I don't know why, because he's a crusty old basket, really. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. what. Why don't we do a bet together, you know, me and Mr. Lampwick? Would you like to do that? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Look, stand by and wait for the Wonder Woman a right. bit, all right? I'll do the Wonder Woman. You ready? Right. right. One. Two. Hello, leader girl. I'm sorry if I seem a bit off, but, uh... 
I've, uh, I've just had a bit of a shock, you see. Oh, I hope it was nothing serious. Well, you see, my mate Sid, you yes. see, he snuffed it. Oh, what a shame. Yes. How did just that two weeks before his 93rd birthday. Oh, that's a real shame. Yes. Is. You see, how it happened was, he was in his garden, you see, yes. throwing his young grandson, Jeremy, up in the air <laughs> when he went. Just like that. How old is his grandson? 63. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Lover, you're having me on. <laughs> That's what the young bird said to me at the back shop. Proper little darling she was. Yeah. Oh, yes, a proper little... I, I tell you, if I'd have been a few years younger or she'd been 60 years older... What uh, happened? What happened? Oh, 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 yes, what happened? Well, she said she had on one of these, these very tight skirts. Yeah. <laughs> with the buttons going up the back, Oh, see. my... Oh, that... um, yes, yes, well, you, you're mind boggled. Anyway, the, the bus come along. When it come along, the platform was too high for it to, uh, to get on, you yeah. see. So I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I gave her a helping hand, you see. I bet you did. In a gentlemanly way, of course. Oh, of course. I kept my gloves on. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, still she couldn't get on, you see, so, uh, she, uh, <laughs> she undid one of the buttons. Oh, my dear. <laughs> still no good. So she undid another. <laughs> then another. <laughs> then another. <laughs> and then she was undoing button after button after button, and finally she got on the bus. <laughs> and she turned around to me, she said, thank you very much. She said, that was getting most embarrassing. I said, you're telling me the last two buttons were mine. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. are awful. But I like you. Here, what's it? Must you reading? Do things like that? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Got carried away. Well, yes, I know. I tell you, Mr. Lumley, why don't we sing a song together? Would oh, you like? That's to? a good idea, yes, but I mean, a youngster like you, I mean, I watch these youngsters on top of the pips or the pap paps or the pops. I mean, they're all filicky. Aren't they? <gasps> there must be a move like they do. I tell you what, I'd like something a bit more dignified. Look, look here, why don't we sing the If You song? What's the song? You know, if you were the only girl in the world and I was the only boy, how about oh, that? That's terrible. <laughs> you won't you hear me sing. Oh. Uh, that's nice. If I were the only girl in the world and I was the only boy. Oh. Oh. We would go on loving in the same old way. A garden of Eden, just me for two, <laughs> with nothing to mar our joy. Oh, we would have such wonderful things to do. 